Rangers have two players there that ideally would not be playing this game from the start. Oh, that's obvious. I think that the Rangers most certainly would have been far happier if uh, Tammy Fraser and Ted McMahon had played uh, a lot more often in recent weeks than they have. That team, in fact, is the one which finished against Dynamo Kiev. So that, the, you know, there was some talk about bringing Danny McGrain back, but they've decided against that. And out they come, led by David Syme, Graham Sinners, David Hay, the two captains, and Hamden rises to them. And there's Jimmy Nichol. He'll be one of the uh, Rangers' best players in the last month. The twice free kick. Durant. There's Grant. Aiken. Off Monroe and Butcher is there. Free kick to Celtic. Nice curl in that. Off Butcher's heel. Now McMahon. Here's Fraser. No, it's Ferguson rather, number seven. That was Fraser, now Nickel. On to McMahon. And White, incisive tackle on McMahon. Trooper. Trooper with his right foot, you see. It doesn't work as effectively as the, the left. Now Johnston. McAnally. Grant, as McAnally is looking very good, now McStay, huge space there, McClare. Was a dangerous one and brilliant, they say. Here's Cooper, wanting to move into midfield, it's Cooper. Free kick, and Roy Aiken instantly apologising. For Fraser. Fraser with a long one and it's a close. Really brilliantly struck ball there by Fraser. Thundering it in. Aiken. Wants to come forward. Fraser totally missing that. Now Ferguson. McMinn. There's McMinn. There he is, McMinn, I think, in a very good position, and the whistle has blown for that tackle. Fraser taking that free kick, there is Butcher up. Ali McCoy, he couldn't find any poise in that shot. Durant, Cooper. A oh, nice play there by Ferguson and what now, Cooper. Oh, yes, a booking for that. Yes. Referee will book Roy Aiken for that. Booked away by McAnally. Johnson, Celtic attacking. Big numbers. Johnston and that sneakily picked up by David Cooper of all people. There's a booking for McAnally for that challenge. Well, I would hope this game doesn't get out of hand, but at the moment the referee's finding it tough to settle the players down. Men. There's Bingman, and it wasn't far away. Nickel. And the free kick. There's McAnally late in on the tackle. Jimmy Nickel can hardly believe it. I think the referee's going to have a word. I think he's having a word with Jimmy Nickel. Woods committed himself for the punch. Not all that effective. Fraser. Sending forward some lovely passes. Here's McCoist. Here's Durant. Brilliant move. Now Shepard. That's a useful ball. Finding McGee. One and the way down, and there is a shot. Yeah. 
Fraser. Aiken read that brilliantly and he wants to come forward. Aiken. Nice little ball to Johnston and this off. Oh, oh McGee brilliantly saved and whipped away. And really for the first time in the game, Celtic did look menacing, Jim. I think the goalkeeper actually touched that one onto the post and if so it was a magnificent save. That looked like a hand, yes it was. Well, it looks as if Johnson is going to be booked. That's Mother McLeod. And there is Woods brilliantly clutching that. Butcher. Good play by Ferguson and Fraser. Now Ferguson. To Cooper. Attacking Grant. Not quite away with it. They have a well watched Ferguson. Now Fraser. Out to McMinn. Away goes McMinn, and he tries to get on the outside. The first we've seen of him in this half. Way by Ferguson it was. McLeod. Good tackle by Ferguson. It's in a great game. Durant turns the wrong way again. Ferguson. Jimmy Nichol. And just got there. Now, there was an interesting break by Rangers of Durant. He seems to be turning back today a lot in a positive position. Cooper brought down free kick. And Cammy Fraser is there. Butcher's there. Durant is there and scores. Durant has scored for Rangers. 1 0. With exactly 17 minutes gone, and the referee will have to drag them down again. They're not supposed to go to the crowd. And the Rangers multitudes go into a, a mass hysteria. Well, the very boy we were just talking about there takes his chance. Only a half chance, touched by Terry Butcher, went to the outside, and the near side of the goalkeeper, Rangers are in the lead. And Celtic lost another very important goal from a corner kick. They did uh, lose one on Wednesday. Now can Celtic hit back immediately? The fame for doing so. Aiken. Way to the side. McAnally. Keeper should get it and does. Ali hesitating and the free kick given and this could be interesting because Celtic have players that can hit the ball well from that area this game is most certainly not over oh certainly not no indication of that because a team has gone in the lead here's Shepard and away by the goalkeeper to Cooper chases on here's Cooper Oh, and a bad ball. You wouldn't believe that David Cooper could play a ball like that. Counter-attack by Celtic. This is the fresh man. Oh, no, it's Deacon, and that's a little too hard. The attendance, by the way, just handed me is 74,219. I don't know how the other 219 got in. It's supposed to be 74,000. Free kick to Celtic again, an interesting position. So, can Celtic get the equaliser from this spot? We're halfway through the second half. Bit of discussing going on. There's a chip forward and it's off the bar. And it's a brilliant save by the Rangers goalkeeper. Superb save. Brilliantly done by McClare. Really was. And there is a superlative save. So, Celtic. Durant trying to go in. And now Aiken. It 
finish in, a brilliant equaliser. McClure. Celtic have definitely got their tails up now. I'd much rather be the Celtic manager at the moment than the Rangers one. Almost being held, McMinn going at this defence. There's Durant again. And well clutched there by Bonnie. He's at his best with that. McStay. Run by McAnally here. It's a great run. Bo Johnson's in it. And they're put back and whipped away. Oh, brilliant play by Durant, though. Rangers almost taken apart. Cooper. Marvellous game this is. McMinn. Well, referee says a slip that time. Counter-attack by Celtic. There goes Johnston. Offside. And Butcher, exhorting his mates, give up their all. Ferguson. To Cooper. Free kick. So, free kick to Rangers. They're definitely lacking the game enough players to take the ball to opposing defenders. Goes for a penalty kick there. It's a given. It's a penalty to Rangers. Butcher was fouled according to the referee. There it is again. Jim? Uh, no doubts at all, apparently, kick. So, no. a vital moment in this game. I make it five and a half minutes remaining of the Skull Cup final. Penalty to Rangers. 2-1. Done with the greatest simplicity, but a man hoisted up by McCoy's Davy Cooper. And once again, the Rangers supporters are rough. And Celtic have got exactly five minutes to save this match. Grant, neatly inside. White. And there was a real collision there. That was the infringement, and he's suffering. On it goes. And I think the linesman is going to report an incident. Bringing players across. Now, what's going on? This is very intriguing, Jim. There's a booking for Monroe. And Johnson will go off. And there no is another one. And it's really getting hot out there. And there's David Hay getting him to bother. And it's a tragedy that this cup final is ending this way. I have in front of me a note from the Scottish League which says that they hope that the teams will be conscious of the importance of maintaining the referees a correct and sportsmanlike league. He definitely showed a red card. He definitely totally showed a red card, however, the game goes on. Excellent save by the Rangers goalkeeper under pressure. And there goes the final whistle. Rangers have won the Skull League Cup final under very controversial circumstances near the end. The cup goes to Ibrox. And there is Terry Butcher. The first Englishman to hold that League Cup trophy aloft. And you do it right now. <laughs>